welcome to the May 2021 Thrifted Look for Less Challenge. I could not be more thrilled to be a part of this challenge. I have watched it for quite some time. I was introduced to it through Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number with Barbara Jean. Um, and she, I, you will hear me refer to her as Auntie Barbara Jean because um, my cousin Debbie refers to her as her adopted mom. It was just kind of something that happened with them that she was like, oh, you're like my adopted daughter. You're like my adopted mom. And I said, well, then that makes you my adopted aunt. So I started calling her Auntie Barbara Jean and it just kind of stuck. So that is how I first started seeing the Thrifted Look for Less Challenge and um, watching all the ladies who were doing it. And sometimes it changes up a little bit. There's some of the same core group who d do it each month. And then there's different people who come and go. And it's just so fun to watch. And I have absolutely loved it. It's one of my favorite things that I look forward to. It's always the third Sunday of every month. And I always look forward to watching those videos. So Auntie Barbara Jean asked me if I would be interested in joining this challenge. And heck yes, I was. I'm like, I am so excited about it. If you know me, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a budget girl. I'm a thrifty girl. I like to thrift store shop. That's my favorite way. Clearance and thrift stores. That's what I do. Um, I also do a lot of, I sell things on Poshmark that I don't use anymore. And then I kind of keep a balance in there. And when there's something I know I want or decide like I'm looking for, then I use that balance that's in there to purchase other things on Poshmark. So it sort of feels like shopping for free. So I am all about this kind of a challenge. So this month, of course, our lovely host is Auntie Barbara Jean. <laughs> and we also have a co-host each month. And this month it is Laura Maybell. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about each of their channels before we move on. Um, first of all, Barbara Jean's channel, um, age is just a number. I could not agree more. Um, she does so many awesome things. She does beautiful makeup tutorials. She does hauls of clothes and makeup. She does beautiful outfit inspiration videos um, to give you different ideas of how to style different pieces. And she's got an amazing personality. She has two adorable little chihuahuas. She's got an amazing husband who plays Santa baby and around Christmas time for her um, vlogmas. And I just adore her. And I know you will too. And then Laura Maybell is someone to, who is, you know, fairly new to me. I've just kind of watched her videos through this challenge. And, um, but she also is very into fashion and into showing you how to style different pieces, whether it's a scarf or wide leg pants or something that she just recently did. Um, so she does all different things like that, different clothing hauls and try-ons and stuff like that. So if you're interested, interested in those kind of things, then I know you will be excited to see what she has to offer. And um, the majority of the ladies in this group seem to be kind of, I would say 40 and up, but I know there's a couple of younger ones as well. Um, so I kind of like that because um, I love seeing obviously what the younger, you know, choose to do too. Everyone's fashion is so different. And um, Barbara Jean, what I love about her, I mean, there's a lot of things I love about her, but something that I love about her is she is very firm on you know, you wear what makes you feel good. Like these rules of what you should wear at what age are a bunch of nonsense. And I agree. I say it all the time. Wear what makes you feel good. It's people who made up these ideas about who should wear what when. Um, I'm a person too. And I decide what I want to wear when. So that's what you should do too. Wear what makes you feel good. And so, um, yeah, I just, I just love it. There's going to be a playlist down below with everyone's videos who is a part of this group for this month. Like I said, it switches up each month. So, um, you need to go after you watch mine and you need to watch these other videos. And there's, there's, there's a little, little bit of homework for you guys. Not really. It's super fun. <laughs> we need you to rate us on a scale from one to 10, how well you think we did. So what this challenge is, it's about finding a, a picture of inspiration for us, an inspiration outfit, whether it's on Pinterest or somewhere else online or, um, in a magazine or, you know, whatever and recreating it for as little as we can by thrifting things. You can do Poshmark, you can do thrift stores, you could do um, eBay, you can even shop your own closet. So it's all about recreating a look based on this inspiration photo and doing it as inexpensively as you can. So that's kind of the challenge there. Now the look does not have to be exact. We're not, it's not about going exact. It's about a look inspired by it. So how much did your outfit kind of, you know, relate to what the inspiration video or picture was. And then um, how did you do as far as what you spent for it? So it is so much fun to see what everyone does and because everyone has different style. So it's so cool to see what people come up with. So 
I am going to go ahead and insert a picture here showing you what my inspiration photos. I had two different photos, which is funny because I didn't realize it at the time. I found them on Pinterest. They actually ended up being from the same um, clothing company and it was something I had never heard of before. This is not a typical outfit that I wear. It's something I love the look of, but it's not something I ever would go to a store and specifically pick out pieces for. I am wearing the white t-shirt right now that you will see in the look. Um, I have this t-shirt. I literally have worn it, I think, one time. I am not a basics girl. I don't do basics. I do color. I do patterns. I do textures. I like fun. I'm just not a basics girl. And But I have a few basics in my closet because people have told me, you must have basics. So I went and bought some but they've just hung there. <laughs> so part of my challenge to myself was to find a way to utilize some basics that I have. And then also there's something that I have always wanted. I've always wanted a pair of nude heels because I think a shoe can be very sexy and I do not have, I don't think feet are sexy. Let me just put that right out there. Ugh, I hate feet, Ugh. but I do think a shoe can be sexy and I have short wide feet it's hard to find a shoe that looks sexy on a foot like mine. <laughs> so that has been an ongoing struggle for me. And so um, the other thing was, you will notice in the photos, they have, uh, well, I think you can only see in one picture. She has, it's a flat sandal, like more of like a flip-flop, but it's a nude kind of colored one. So that was part of my inspiration too, because it went well with the look altogether. And so I was really wanting to find a nude heel that I could wear for summer and feel sexy in. And so um, you'll see what I did. And then the main piece was a floral long skirt with a little bit of a, of a, you know, ruffle to it. Just something cute and pretty with the simple white top. It's, it's just different than what I normally go for, but I love the look of it. And now I'm going to show you, I put on some little modeling skills. I don't have modeling skills, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with this, as you will see in the little clip here. I'm going to show you now what I ended up finding, and then we'll come back and talk details. Okay, so how do you think I did as far as finding an outfit that was very close to the inspired, you know, the inspiration photo? I I feel like I did really good. <laughs> I was super excited about it. My husband was like laughing at me because I was geeking out. Um, so let's go over the little details here. So the inspiration video or photo rather, um, there were two, like I said, and they were both from the same company, which um, the name of the company is Petal and Pup, which I had never heard of before. And um, there, I couldn't find the exact skirts to the two that they showed there, I don't think. Or maybe I did find, yeah, no, I did find the one. Um, and it was $49.95 for that skirt. Then the um, white tees that are in both of those, one is like has a pre-made knotted front. And that one is the Brinley top, which is $49.95. And the other picture, there's a white tee that they tied and it has little like ruffle on the, um, sleeve just a little detail and that's $39.95 and so those were the shirt and skirt and then um I couldn't find the pair of sandals that the girl was wearing in the picture but the lowest price for sandals that they had on there was $49.95 and then she just had simple gold hoop earrings in and um I think they both did I know I could at least see it in one um and the ones that they have on there were $24.95 so I'm going to put on the screen what the total was for that inspiration outfit. And I'll go with the lower, I'll go with the 39.95 tee just to, you know, instead of the 49.95. So yeah, we'll just do that. So that will be up there. Now, let me tell you about my outfit. First off, this tee right here, I think I already told you, it was in my closet. So it was basically free. I know I didn't pay more than $8 for it when I bought it new, 
I don't think I even paid that much for it. But um, so that I'm counting as free because that was already in my closet. That was not something I had to go out and purchase. So that's number one. And I utilized my basic. Yay. <laughs> Next was the skirt. This skirt. So I have the shirt on. I don't have the skirt on anymore. Um, it is. I'm going to show you the brand because I have never heard of this before. I don't know if it's Ziago or Zigo or... I'm not really sure what that brand is, um, but this skirt I got at Goodwill for $3.99, and this thing is perfect condition. There's not a single stitch. I look at things like crazy, and I mean, it is just perfect. I love the material of it. It's nice and flowy. I feel like it's going to be so cute for like date night with my husband and just feeling pretty or even like a baby shower or something like that. Like a wedding shower, whatever. Like it's such a pretty skirt and you could put it with like a dressier tank if you wanted to make it a little dressier or something like that. But um, yeah, I, I'm so happy with it. $3.99. <laughs> and then the shoes. Now this was a little uh, hoping and praying that these shoes would fit me because like I said, I have wide short feet. I wear a six and a half and um, my feet are, they're not super wide, but they're wide enough. So a lot of strappy things and stuff just don't work. So I saw these and I fell in love with them on Poshmark. I was just hoping that these would show up and fit me. And you guys, when I got them and tried them on, I was strutting around my house. My two youngest boys were, I have three boys. Um, my oldest is 22 and then I have an almost 19. On the 29th, he'll be 19. And then a 15 year old. And my 15 year old and almost 19 year old were home. And I was like, ooh. Mom's feeling good. They were like, okay, mom. <laughs> but seriously, I felt so good in these. So these are BCBG, like the generation um, line. Let me show it to you in here. I think you can see that. This is the stinking cutest, like suede braided. The back has this cute, like you tie and untie it. So they're really easy to get on and off. And how cute is that detail? It's got the wood heel like this, and it's a great height. It's comfortable. It's not too high, but it makes like your calves and stuff look. And then here, it's super padded. It's so comfortable. And these things were like not even worn. They still have the little um, size sticker on the bottom of both of them. Like these are like almost brand new, you guys, with shipping and tax. These were $16.38. But do you remember what I said about how I like to sell things on Poshmark and leave a balance there? So if there's something that comes up that I want, I just use the balance. Well, that's what I did. So I didn't pay a thing for these because I had already sold clothes and had a balance there. So these puppies were free. Yes, I count that as free. So what does that mean for what I paid for this outfit? Well, that is a whopping $3.99 because all I paid for was the skirt. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you about the earrings. The earrings I had were a pair that I won in an Instagram giveaway. So those were free too. <laughs> and so I paid $3.99 for this entire outfit. And I absolutely love it. I will definitely be wearing it. And um, yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it. So please remember to leave me a rating of 1 to 10, how you think I did. And then please go ahead and go to that playlist down there in my description and go see all the other ladies Check out what they found. I can't wait to go watch and see what they did. And make sure that you leave them a rating too. It is so much fun, you guys. And so um, I hope you will fall in love with this challenge as much as I have because I just think it's so much fun. And now to be a part of it, I am like over the moon. So thank you so much, Auntie Barbara Jean, for inviting me to do this. And um, yes, I plan to keep doing it because... Love stuff like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and would like to see me do it again. Um, I am just, I, I love this kind of stuff. This is like my thing. <laughs> also, if you are new to my channel, if you're coming from one of the other ladies, hello, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And I hope you will want to subscribe and stick around and see the other things that I do and see what I come up with for next month. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.